Hi, I'm Michael. Today I'm here in Hampshire to visit the 2019 Four Core Trader of the Year site operated by the Garner Group. The purpose of today's visit is to see Euro Pumps True Zero in action. So Kieran's here from Europump and he's going to talk us through the process. Kieran. Hi Michael. Yep. Yeah, so the first process is to remove the nozzle from the hose and then connect it to True Zero. So these pumps are fitted with ATC. How does that affect the True Zero process? Well, when we're using True Zero, we always turn the ATC off, but we like to get an initial reading with the ATC switched on, which is part of the process. So now I'm going to run off 20 litres. So Kieran, you said you were going to dispense 20 litres, but yet the meter says 19.93. Well, that has dispensed 20 litres, but it's only charged the customer for 19.93, and that's down to the ATC. So how are we going to check the meter? What I'm going to do now is put the pump into weights and measures mode, which will turn off the ATC. So you've put it into weight and measured mode. So what's next? Well, now we're going to run another 20 litres, but now the ATC is off. So the pump has dispensed 20 litres, but it's charged the customer for 19.97. So the pump is over dispensed by 30 mil. Yeah, that's correct. So these pumps were only commissioned a year ago, but yet this meter is already over dispensing. Well, this meter may have drifted by 30 mil in that time, or they may have been giving away 30 mil from day one. So surely that over dispense would have been picked up in the wet stock reconciliation? Well, this site has ATC, which makes it very difficult to spot that drift within the wet stock reports. So what happens next? So today, I'm going to check the rest of the meters and come back tomorrow with a pump contractor and cut back any over dispensing meters. So Mike, thanks very much for inviting us into your site. Congratulations, Four Core Trade of the Year. And what had the need for you to invite Europump into your business? Okay, well the site opened in March 2019. Um, the pump measures were set at the factory and hadn't been tested since. So we've traded for about 16 months now. Um, pumped uh, about six million litres in that time. And uh, obviously I wanted to make sure that we are giving our customers what they pay for. I want to make sure that somebody buys a litre off me, they get a litre. Uh, and in my opinion, um, using the uh, Euro Tank True Zero test is the best way to test the pump meters, the actual bit that does the measuring. And how do you think this will work with ATC on your site? Okay, well the, the, the Euro Tank procedure is that the, initially we do a, a, an audit of all the pumps with ATC on and then we do a second audit with ATC off. Now, first of all, that proves whether the ATC is working because obviously it should be a difference in the uh, volumes uh, between the, uh, the measured volume and the corrected volume. Um, and then with the ATC off, that then proves the accuracy of the meter. Are the meters on strike? Are they under or over dispensing? And, uh, and if they are under or over dispensing, we'd then break the seal and adjust them and reseal them. And is it frustrating that your current pump maintenance provider doesn't offer this service? I do want that, that anything that goes on on my forecourt, I want it to be as safe as possible. And it, testing with cans seems to me in the 21st century to be archaic. To have, regardless of how light they are, you've still got cans full of in the case of petrol, a very flammable substance that's got to be moved about the forecourt, either by hand or on some form of trolley, and then poured back into the tanks. 
So there's an opportunity for somebody to trip and spill. There's an opportunity for somebody to spill while they're pouring or indeed pour the wrong product back into your tanks. So I'd like to, I want to eliminate that. And I think that the True Zero method, it carries the tested product on board and it's then at the end of the testing session dropped back into the appropriate tanks. I just think that's so much, um, such a, a much safer and better way of doing it. So why do you think more retailers are not using True Zero? I think that there's uh, quite a lot of people in our industry um, that, that don't manage their wet stock as much as they perhaps ought to. Um, they, uh, they accept the uh, visit of trading standards to, uh, to confirm the accuracy of their pumps um, and only uh, break a seal and have a meter adjusted if something needs to be done to the pump. I think also um, there are other obstacles. I think that some of the manufacturers, pump manufacturers, are not keen for their uh, equipment to be tested using True Zero, and they prefer the more traditional CAN method of testing. So, Kieran, you've nearly completed your audit. What have you found so far? Well, so far, pump one and two is exactly 20 litres. Pump four was exactly 20 litres. Pump seven and leaded was giving away 30 mil. Pump seven super unleaded was giving away 20 mil. And pump eight was exactly 20 litres. So, what I've seen today that all the pumps here were either on strike or giving away fuel, which begs the question, is this a wider industry issue? So for more information, contact Europump.